Hello, my lovelies. Back for more, huh? Back for more, are we? <laughs> I thought I'd just do another video. I just want the vaccine. I just like looking at landscapes. Okay, whatever. Cans. It's probably actually not centered I have a table that I found outside that uh, I use for my coffee now because it's probably a little loud when I set the coffee and match and water up there and take a sip from it right 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 yeah I just I made a good supper which was actually the first thing I ate and then I just made some porridge some cinnamon apples, pineapple, coconut, coconut nibs, cocoa nibs, chia seeds, walnut halves, sunflower seeds, cinnamon, apple. So it's good. It's just cooling off outside. I put my stuff outside like a pie. To cool it because so I like eating my uh, porridge cold but I'll just eat some of it and then take my vitamins but uh, yeah I have a little bit of time to play I have some red kidney beans soaking in water so it softens them up and releases their nutrition value I'm gonna mix that with the supper I made earlier I let them soak for eight hours you know Stuff. I kind of retuned it a bit just by ear. I like to do that. <laughs> this table is going to conflict. It's on the foot of my bed, which is just a couple blankets on the floor. Get off my bed. Here we go. Beautiful. Dampens the sound. Take those off. Now I can hear more. They make them semi open cans. These make them closed off. Just dampens the sound, and I can hear bass more if I wear these. I love this cup. I bought it um, for the cup solely for the cup, but uh, I guess it was last Christmas when you can make, you can buy those little packages, hot chocolate packages, and they came with M&Ms, but I just wanted the cup. I may treat myself to another French press, glass breaks. Just been using a teapot with a little diffuser it sits in the teapot you know a loose tea diffuser that's where i put my grounds it's okay coffee's coffee even bad coffee is better than no coffee at all as a uh, agent special special agent fbi agent dale cooper would say from twin peaks Played by Colin McLaughlin. I just, I have usually three drinks on the go. Matcha, coffee, and water. It's an autistic thing. Okay, what should I play? Hmm. I'm going to play a little quieter this time.
Like the burning end of a midnight cigarette. Whiskey Lullaby, Brad Paisley. Alana Cross. Alana Cross. That chick. I saw Neil Young for the second time. Did an acoustic center stage performance like the one he did in 92. But this was in like 2015. But Diana Krall opened for him. And he's a, she's a really good pianist. Don't make fun of that word now. Sick bastards. Okay. I just like playing that song. Uh, is this another song I made? Something like that. You know, here comes the sun, George Harrison, written in 16 time. He went to India and learned under this guru. They do 16 time, not one. Like all Tom Petty songs. It's 16 time. And I thought that was very interesting. And Neil Young plays. And John Fruchante of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Can't understand why people don't go from four time all the way to 16 time and interchange them during parts, right? People just don't want to change their strumming. But I love changing my strumming. It just... Right? another song I made the lyrics tend to come after songs Neil Young wrote uh, my my hey hey in his living room on an acoustic he wrote Mr. Soul in five minutes well, hello Mr. Soul I just draw by to pick up a reason here's another one I made.
something like that, you know? And another one. figured out the details. I don't like constraining songs to one way. When I watched Neil Young play live, he always did something different. Same feeling of the song. As long as you can convey what you want to convey, you can change anything you want. And that's why I stick to live albums and songs mostly because you can recreate something but you lose stuff. Like John Frusciante, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, believed his tone came from the air that was that day, that was in that recording studio. You can never get the same thing. So why would you try to recreate the same thing? It stifles it, the creativity. That's why I believe practice makes consistency, not perfection. This was perfection. You're just copying something you did or someone else did. Where is you? Need on the damage done. Yeah, a Neil Young song from this 1972 Harvest. But who was Neil Young's, one of Neil Young's favorite influences? Bert Yanch. And he came out with Needle of Death. You ever hear that song? Bert Yanch. And another one is Phil Oaks. Changes, the song changes, Phil Oaks. I'm just gonna play a little bit for you guys. 